Roosevelt, sit down before you fall down. There's a very real possibility of that. Also, apparently, FDR got secret hand jobs from his cousin, according to that one movie I saw. Oh, awesome. God, I thought we weren't going to talk about politics tonight. We'll talk about 1940s <laughs> politics. I want to talk about 1940 hand jobs. <laughs> Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. Can you guess what game we're about to play? Yes, you can, because it's in the title of this video, but I'm going to tell you anyway, we're playing Link. <laughs> Link is a guessing and bluffing game that we're about to play, and I'm about to drink a beer. You are about to drink a beer, but not the same one that I'm drinking, because Paul Anner sent us only one of these, so only I get to drink it. Tonight we're drinking Dortmunder Gold Lager from the Great Lakes Brewing Company. I'm spilling it all over my sif. Dortmunder. Poured it like an asshole. It says <clears throat> balanced and smooth on the can. That's, that's good. That's a really good drinking beer. This is so good. Bavarian style pills made in Germany. It just, it does taste like not something you'd get in America. What's your guys taste like? I'm not detecting any outstanding flavors, but it's, yeah. yet it's so good. The balanced and smooth thing is pretty accurate, honestly. All right. Well, tell us how to play Link. We're going to draw a card off of our stack of link cards. Two of them will be the same word. Two of them will be a bunch of question marks. If you get the question marks, that means you are bluffing. The key here is you want to figure out who has the two same words and who doesn't. So you will be the first one to um, say a word, Matt, one word. And if you're bluffing, you just you, you don't want it to be something too specific. My word is house. My word is structure. Password. Secret. Everybody tries to guess who has the link. And you can do this either in the first or second round, but not both. If you don't want to guess in this first round, you can say pass on your secret round one guessing sheet and wait until round two. Okay, so I'm guessing two people or one person? You're guessing two people right now. Okay. Here we go with round two. Property. Turret. What'd you say? Kerbalip? Turret. Okay. Ice. Crack. Everybody ready for the big reveal? I guess Joe and Aaron. I guess Joe and Aaron. Joe and Aaron. <laughs> I guess pass. Did you touch the tile? Yes, I did. I touched the tile. <laughs> Doug, you know you're not supposed to touch the tiles. <laughs> I won't touch the tiles. Don't touch the tiles. I won't touch the tile. Everybody hold them up first. This will be a, an amazing potential thumbnail opportunity, which are hard to find sometimes. Reveal it is. I've got code. Bluff. Bluff. We all win except Doug. My round two guess was Joe and Matt. Oh, wow. You were wrong all, all, of the, all of the way. Couldn't have been more wrong here. When Doug is wrong, Doug is wrong all the way. He touches all the tiles. He gives out lots of smiles all the way. Look at score. There's no more to it than this. Uh, yeah, this is it. This is a great game. <laughs> Woo! Part of the fun of this game is that you're supposed to write down the words that everybody says on this clue board. Well, why don't you do that? Because it's dumb? No, you should do it. Just do it. Because okay. that'll right. help. I need a better erase marker, though. I have one right here. Ah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ready for round two of Link. We'll consider Matt the dealer for this round, so Doug will clue first. Now we'll write them all down with my better dry erase marker. Science. A controversial word. Yes. Um, respect. Suit. Germany. He's professing his new allegiance. Germany. <laughs> you and me, Angela. Make your first round guesses. Look at this makes it way easier. Look at this. Suit. Germany. Science. Respect. Now we start with Doug again. Neat. Tie. Shoelace. Collar. I've updated the clue board. These are all the words that everybody has given as a clue. Flip them. 
ditto to last time. I put Joe and Aaron. Me too. I put Aaron Doug. I've got Matt Joe. Yeah, it was. It was us again. Uh, dude, you used a permanent marker, you dummy. <laughs> Way back in the day, we played a little game called One Drunk Night. Let's take a look, shall we? Had to do something really awkward today after I stabbed my coworker. Luckily, I always carry a hidden camera. I had to do something really awkward today, and now it burns when I pee. <coughs> I really want to know what happens, uh, what happened with the coworker, so I'm going with the coworker. After I stabbed my coworker, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> which I didn't think was a mistake at the time. But then Jeff showed up with this 24-inch dildo. Classic Jeff. But honestly, I did it all for the nookie. I'm gonna take the ending, but honestly, I did it all for the nookie. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that. We were all in the same room and having a good time. You can get One Drunk Night and several other expansions to it on Amazon. They've got a not safe for work version. They have a, a couple different things. There's a link in the description and we'll be giving away three copies to three lucky viewers. All you have to do is make a comment on this video. We'll be choosing three people at random and they will get a free copy of One Drunk Night. All right, well, I fixed that problem. Emergency solved. And Joe will start us out. Doug dealt virtually. Blow. Fart. Lips. Zephyr. Make your first round guess. Avatar. Round two, Avatar. Cape. Breeze. Gentle. There's the guesses. Fart cape, lips breeze, Zephyr gentle, blow Avatar. My round one, I passed. I guessed Joe and Aaron again. I, I guess. guess. I guessed Joe and Doug. Round two guesses. Joe and Doug. Joe and Matt. Flip the cards. I was the bluffer Jeez. again. I've been nothing but the bluffer. I want to have the word. You and me both, Matt. Let's do another round, and then we can be done with this. I don't think we're playing this game right. It really is this simple. This time I start. Store. Catch. Hand. Glove. You said glove. Got it. Okay, round two. Clues. Balls. Surfboard. Ocean. Wake. Store balls. Hand ocean. Catch. Surfboard. Glove wake. Okay, let's guess... I guessed Joe and Doug. Matt, Doug. Doug, Matt. Shit. Matt, Doug. Wow, I screwed it. I screwed up the pooch. According to what's on the link scoreboard, I've won. This is my favorite game that we've ever played on the show. Congratulations to me. You've been fraudulently scoring this game. <laughs> and I can a permanent marker is what it is. I actually did find some votes in this link box. Joe, do you ever get upset uh, when people say you look like Wayne Coyne? I don't know who that is. Oh, good. Okay. Well, you don't have to worry about it then. You don't know who Wayne Coyne is. Hold on. You're young. I would expect Doug not to know who Wayne Coyne is. I don't know who Wayne Coyne is. Matt, what are the proper ages to know who Wayne Coyne is? I think it's probably us. Now is the time in Beer and Board Games when we toast our patrons at patreon.com slash beer and board games who have bought us a beer. I have a little bit of not beer here, but it, it adds up to the same result. And so I would like to toast Carrie Mathias. Kyle Botillier. Dave DeRocious. Jonathan H. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Dave, you should change your name to Dave DeRocious for sure. That sounds ferocious. There's no way that I can screw up craft beer Mad Libs. How about we play that? Thanks to jo Plasto Joe for sending this to us. Ready? Yes. An audience, I'm gonna ask you for a type of event and an adjective. Just start typing. All right, verb ending and ing, you guys. Fornicating. Verb. Jerk. Adjective. Sucky. Matt nailed it, he nailed it. I'm gonna take the audiences. Uh, see, we've got orgy of baptism, spiffy, geriatric. So now give me a place. Chicago Whorehouse. All right, Matt nailed it again. You guys aren't getting any points. <laughs> you don't get points in Mad Libs. <laughs> Joe, verb ending in ING. Peeing. And Matt, noun. Human head. Joe, give me a noun. Um, red. <clears throat> That's an adjective. Nope, it's too late. I used it. I'll take a plural noun, please. Nudie magazines. 
<laughs> Before we continue, I just want to say that I pulled this old notebook off of my shelf before the show. It's just got a bunch of random shit in it, and I was using it to generate ideas for Mad Libs. It was so easy. I also used a lot of the folks' words. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Lager versus Ale Smackdown. Calling all beer fans. This is the fight you've been fornicating for. This Sunday, Lager and Ale were jerk and satisfied to the death <laughs> in a battle of foam and fervor. Weighing in at 38 pounds is Lager. Lean, mean, and sucky. Lager fought its way up from the mean streets of the Chicago whorehouse to this very match today. <laughs> After a long and ancient fermentation, it began peeing into the crisp human head. We're ready to see fight. And <laughs> let's not forget Lager's triumph last year when it pummeled George Bush and took home the red. <laughs> On the other side of the ring is thick reigning champ ale. Ask yourself, which version of this slanted ale will we see tonight? Who will be crowned the king of nudie magazine? <laughs> Get your geriatric friends together, grab your openers, and let the baptism begin. I have an idea. I like those. Find a Mad Lib that looks good. Take a picture of it and text it to me, and then I can run the Mad Lib. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, we got the frequently asked questions of brew. Oh, that looks good. Let's just go with that. If the folks are coming up with suggestions, you can just tell those to me. I need more than one part of the body. Left lump. Busted nut. K kidney spot. Cardiff. Left eyebrow. Weenus. Adjective. Belgian. Terse. I'm good on adjectives. Plural noun. Tittles. Titties. I will take tittles. Give it, give me, give me, give me the next one. Celebrity and verb ending in ing. Those are the last two. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Crawling. Banging. Crawling. Pounding. Gerrymandering. Crushing. The FAQs of bruise. There's a lot more to beer than meets the left lump. Let's answer some FAQs. Question. Should I leave the foam on top? Answer. Yes. The foam, a.k.a. the busted nut, <laughs> adds to the beer's texture inside your weenus. Mm -hmm. Question. Should beer always be served cold? Answer. It depends. As a tip, lagers are fuckingly cooler than ales. But by all means, dump that beer sitting out in the Belgian sun. Oh, yeah. Is a beer hangover less moist than a wine hangover? If you drink enough of either, you will be a janky mess and stumble around like Franklin Delano Roosevelt before making a visit to the toilet. Also, why are you gerrymandering wine? Kai, D. Valeria says, a shot for Matt, please. We need more tree person pose. Thank you, Kai. I will enjoy this. And then I hope you will enjoy this. <laughs> this is me becoming a tree. <laughs>